Hello, this is Gokul here. It's my first video tutorial on observer design pattern. Uh, so I'm going, not going to explain you what design pattern is, but I'll primarily focus on observer design pattern. Uh, so what's the observer design pattern? If I have an object which has a lot of associated, uh, uh, say, objects, and the main object need to inform some state change to the other associated objects, we can. Uh, use observe pattern. So let's try to add some uh, code. So I'm going to explain you the remaining session in a code. So let's write a plain C++ program. So I'm just writing, uh, going to write a, uh, a computer class first. Uh, then I'll write some public methods like start and stop for the computer. Start means you are sitting on the computer and stop. You are shutting the computer. Yeah. So uh, so the plan is that so we will have a per peripheral abstract class. So uh, I'm going to add the peripheral class in a moment here. So peripheral is an abstract class. So let me write here. So I have a peripheral class now, and maybe I'm just adding more peripherals by inheriting the peripheral class. So let's try to add a USB peripheral uh, by inheriting the peripheral class. Then uh, I'll add maybe a microphone or or mouse out of this USB peripheral but right now I have I'm adding one more uh, peripheral type called serial peripheral so uh, <clears throat> hold on a moment yeah so I'm just going to add uh, a microphone out of the USB peripheral <clears throat> and then I'll add a mouse USB mouse as a USB peripheral And then I'll try to add one uh, serial peripheral object here, maybe not monitor, maybe a printer. That's a good one. Then I'll write add a printer by inheriting the serial peripheral. So that's a class stru structure. So we have a lot of classes out of it. And meanwhile, I'm just trying to comment out because I have done some code be before I started this. So I'm just commenting it out so that you know it's more easier to uh, explain you the, the, the current program okay so let's add a uh, virtual pure virtual function called um, say on on start yeah and uh, I'll, I'll add uh, a stop as well so this on start is a kind of signal when the computer starts each peripheral needs to get a a signal called on start and I'm starting a virtual keyboard there and I'm going to make it as a pure virtual function yeah so uh, then of course we need to implement this function in each of these peripheral um, derived classes so just adding a protected our written method so um, I'm going to use virtual in the USB peripheral because I have uh, I have derived the microphone out of USB peripheral so it's always good to keep a virtual there and uh, let it be a kind of Im empty implementation if you want to add something you can certainly add uh, of course if there are common things USB peripheral has to do something yeah that's why um, then uh, let me uh, copy and paste it in all the all the classes all the derived classes say microphone or mouse and of course serial peripheral printer yeah so now i'll focus <coughs> yeah so let we can we can add some comments say uh, printer is starting up <coughs> 